Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN, and I would like to officially welcome you to episode 251 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. It is cold in New Jersey, and it's supposed to get colder this week. Burr! So I've been getting tons of great questions from all of you, and I'm trying to get to them in the midst of preparing for the holiday season. For example, right after I finish answering this question, I'm going to go finish putting up our last Christmas tree. We have three Christmas trees in my house this year. It was not my idea. My mini-me has one in her room because, of course, she's been getting Christmas ornaments since she was born. So, you know, we didn't think that was an unreasonable request. My wife ended up putting a Christmas tree in our room this year. And I was like, do we really need a Christmas tree in our room? But I have to tell you, it looks fantastic. And then last but not least, we had to get a bigger Christmas tree for our kind of, I don't know, great room, family room, because the previous tree, which is now in our bedroom, was much too small for the space. So I'm excited to, you know, put the final touches on the Christmas decorations around my house, which includes doing the staircase with, uh, what do you call it? What's that stuff that goes across the mantle? Yes, garland. Oh my gosh, why couldn't I remember that? Anyway, my wife does garland all up the staircase. She puts light, she puts garland on the mantle for the fireplace, and it looks simply amazing. I love the festive look of Christmas. Anyway, let's jump right into today's question. It's a really good question. This is it. Has anybody uh, ever had general herpes and either delivered naturally or opted for a C-section instead? That's a really good question. It's a great question because sometimes folks think that just because you have herpes that you can't have kids, which is not true. So this is how I'm going to address that. Here's my response. If you have general herpes, you are probably already on suppressive therapy and you've likely been on such therapy since about 36 weeks. Most OBGYNs, when we have patients that we know have herpes, will put you on um, suppressive therapy, usually in like the form of acyclovir, Valtrex, something along those lines. This is the key. As long as you do not, I repeat, do not have any active lesion, sores, or an outbreak at the time that you go into labor, you're really fine to deliver vaginally. Speak with your OBGYN about this. I'm sure that they will concur. I would not recommend having a C-section if you don't have any active lesions just because you're a little bit afraid. Lots of women with herpes have uneventful vaginal deliveries that result in healthy babies. You just need some reassurance. Good luck. And again, talk this over with your OBGYN. Thank you so much for submitting this question. That was really an excellent question. For those of you that have questions related or unrelated or just in general that you want featured on the podcast, you know how to reach your girl. www.askdrangela.com. That's A-S-K-D-R-A-N-G-E-L-A.com. Click on the question mark and you can either submit your question via email or you can direct message me on any of my social media outlets. In closing, I'm going to leave you with this quote from Bob Bates. This is coming out of my Congratulations Graduate. It's a book of inspiration that I think I got when I when I graduated from college, actually. Anyway, here's the quote from Bob Bates. Don't cross your bridges until you get to them. We spend our lives defeating ourselves crossing bridges we never get to. Really good point. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Can't wait to reconnect on episode 252 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. 
See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional.